Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 31, 2020. Last day of the year. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button this year. Newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. If you want access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, our online trades and so on and so on. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And yet again today, Bitcoin rallied roughly 6.5%. At this point, sorry to say this, it is basically stupid money that is basically rallying this. Because if you, if anybody's looking at the RSI or basically understands what the RSI is, it is basically screaming down here in the corner that we're at 86 in the daily chart. It's even worse than the weekly chart. We're at 92 in the weekly chart. Last time we were there, we basically fell 50% in one week. So just keep that in mind. Um, we could basically see a tidal wave of uh, selling in Bitcoin at any point. So people are buying this. It is herd psychology. Would my John Money Keynes would say that. But it is just absolutely nuts to buy Bitcoin at this stage. If you want to buy it, you should wait for a pullback here at least to uh, 20, uh, 25,000. That is roughly above the 20 exponential moving average. That is probably where you could uh, think about buying this. But buying this here at 28,700, that is just absolutely bananas. Technical indicators for, for Bitcoin in the daily chart are still fairly bullish. MACD is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the, uh, the Stochastic is bullish. And we are very, very significantly overbought in the RSI. So let's look at the weekly chart in order to just grasp what basically we are looking at here. So we are just, um, what do you say? Uh, we're trading upside down at this point. And uh, that is never, never a good thing for um, anything, a stock, a currency, whatsoever. When things become this parabolical, they will have an absolutely horrible fall at some point. Maybe tomorrow, maybe right now, maybe later tonight. It is going to happen because things like this just continue can't continue forever. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracement for the weekly chart, we can basically see that the first Fibonacci retracement, that is 38.2%, that is under 20,000. The first one, we are here at 19,360. That's that's how overstretched we basically are. The 50 is basically at 16 point, basically 16,000 for Bitcoin. It seems like an age ago. I think that this is going to be where people start buying. So we'll see an absolutely tidal weight of selling towards 22,000 or 20,000 give or take, there's where people will start buying again. If you look at, for example, the Bollinger Band, and um, usually the Bollinger, Band, the Bollinger Band is fairly accurate when instruments, currencies, stocks get outside of the Bollinger Band. It has also been fairly accurate uh, in predicting what happens to Bitcoin, whether or not we we're overbought or oversold. In both cases, it has been a very, very reliable indicator. So we can go back to 2017. We can see what happened here when we got outside of the Bollinger Band. We basically fell from 20,000 all the way down to 10,700. So roughly half of its value gone after one week. Yikes. So we can go back here in uh, 2019. We also got outside and then we basically broke down all the way down from uh, roughly uh, 30,700. And uh, we didn't end until we got here, 6,400. Then we rallied again. And then we were a period here where we were significantly oversold. And then we rallied all the way up towards 12,000. Then we got outside, broke down yet again. And then we continued this massive rally. At this point, we are way, way, way outside of the Bollinger Band. We have been for the last three weeks. So we have been outside of Bollinger Band the last three weeks. So who's buying this at this point? I, I 
usually you call it stupid money when you basically look at it uh, this way because it is just pure gambling buying it at this stage. I know people are you know, talking about it hitting 30,000. Yes, probably. But the problem is that if we get there, it will mean that the RSI will basically be at 95 and the fall will be even more dramatic. So a pullback towards 20,000, 22,000, that is very, very likely at this point, even though it sounds crazy um, for Bitcoin to basically lose um, a third of its value in a very short time. That is very possible. We lost half of it, we lost half of its value back in seven, uh, 2017 in only one week. So at this point, I would, well, if you want to buy this, I would wait until we basically have this massive fall. You could also basically sell this. I'm basically selling this. So it's not even a gamble at this point because, well, it's almost a certainty this will basically fall. So let's look at the Ethereum. We'll look at the daily chart first. And as you can see, we are basically way outside of the Bollinger Band. Also here in uh, Ethereum, we are going to see this uh, pullback towards the middle here of the Bollinger Band. That's roughly 650. And that was also the previous highs here. So this is what happened last time we were outside of the Bollinger Band. We basically broke down all the way down to the 50 moving average. If that were to occur now, we will fall from roughly 735 all the way down to 580. So uh, absolutely terrifying fall. This is um, also an example where we were outside, fell towards the middle. We were outside here, fell towards the bottom of the bullish band. Here the same, outside, broke below the 50 moving average and the lower part of the bullish band. So uh, historically, when we get outside, it can have an enormous fall. So just be aware, the people that are basically thinking about buying this, you are running into a death trap at this point. So if you want to buy this, wait for the pullback towards the 20 exponential, that's roughly 650. If you see a turnaround here, then you basically can buy with a stop loss right underneath roughly 630. Technical indicators for Ethereum are still looking fairly bullish, Stochastic is turning around, MACD is very bullish, the CCI is turning around, and we are significantly, fairly significantly overbought in the daily chart. If you look at the weekly chart, we are at 85 and significantly outside of this uh, Bollinger Band and are basically expecting a major pullback at any point. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, your the link is down below. Good luck and happy new year.